Yo 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 welcome to Earth ID YouTube channel. In this video let me show you how to calculate the mean, variance and standard deviation value using SPSS software. Also I will also explain to you how to interpret these three statistical measurements properly so you can interpret it well and understand it properly. Keep tuned. You already know that the mean is the average value of the dataset. It represents the sum of all value in the dataset divided by the total number of the values. Meanwhile, variance is the average of the squared differences from the mean of a set of values. It quantifies how much individual data points in a dataset deviate from the mean value. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance. It provides a more interpretable measure of the spread of the data because it is in the same unit as the original data. The thing that you must remember is that SPSS calculates the variance and standard deviations automatically in sample equation. In this data window, we already have 15 different data sets of student math scores. And to get the mean, variance, and standard deviation value, you have two ways that you can use to get it in SPSS. The first one is by using the frequencies feature and the second one is by descriptives. Let's dive into the first one. Uh, yeah, we have this dataset ready and let's go analyze it. Go to the menu and click analyze, descriptive statistics and click frequencies. Okay, let me reset it first and we can choose the variable that we want to analyze. Click the variable, hit the arrow button to move it to the variable box and then click statistics. And here you see the whole option that you can use in central tendency, dispersion, percentile, or whatever it is. And check the statistical measurement that we need. Click mean, standard deviation, and variance. Everything is good. Click continue. And because we don't need frequency tables, just uncheck this display frequency tables option. And then click OK. So we get the mean, standard deviation, and variance value by using frequencies feature. Let's dive in for the second one. Let's head back to the score data and go to analyze, descriptive statistics and go to descriptives. Here we have the descriptive dialog box. Click the option of the variable and move it to the variable box by hitting the arrow button. Click options. Here at the dialog box, let's check the statistical measurements that we need. Check the mean, standard deviation, and variance. Uncheck the minimum and maximum, and then click continue. Everything is good. Okay, nah, and we get the mean, standard deviation, and variance value in a descriptive statistic uh, table. The mean score of 83 represents the average performance of the students in the math score. It serves as a central reference point around which the individual scores tend to cluster. The variance of 52.86 indicates the average squared deviation of each student's math score from the means. In other words, it quantifies the overall variability or spreads of the student's scores. A higher variance suggests that the score are more dispersed and there is a greater variability in the performance across students. The standard deviation of 7.27 provides a more interpretable measure of the spread of student's math score. It represents the typical amount of deviation or variation of individual score from the mean. In this case, a standard deviation of 7.27 implies that most student scores are within approximately one standard deviation of the mean. So we can say that most of the student math score is between 75.73 and 90.27 in a normal distribution. That's it. Hope this video will be useful. See you in another video.